to get success in your job in your career you need some skill set right so if you want to get a good reviews if you want to stay in your company you don't, you don't want to get lay off from from the company you need some skill set right so in this video we're going, we going to talk about those five important skill set we should you should have to be a good IT professional so welcome back aliens I'm Navin Reddy from Thaisco Learnings so let's get started so we're going in a descending order from five to one and let's start with the fifth one so now the fifth point so the fifth point is how to learn now you might be wondering we, we all know how to learn right so we are learning from our childhood in fact when you're born you then after that you know you have learned how to walk you have learned how to talk how to eat and then in your school also you have learned different subjects in your college you have learned different subjects but then learning in your education system is different from learning in IT industry because in, in education system there is someone to guide you right we have you have teachers you have mentors but the moment the moment you join a company the learning is different and of course right you have to learn in every stage of your life maybe if you have joined the company now so you, if you're a fresher there are lots of things you have to learn but even after getting some experience maybe after six years seven years you have to make sure that you are learning stuff don't stop learning but then everyone knows that right you have to learn but then question arises: how to learn now there are different ways of learning right so there are some people that they, they love uh, online resources there are some people they love books there are some people who need one-to-one -one training and everything is good you know everything is best depend upon people so we all we all are different and that's why we have a different way of learning uh, example if, 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 you, if you ask me how I learn so what I do is I learn from online online resources maybe online documentation maybe online online uh, online uh, I mean online websites where you can learn uh, example plural site Udemy YouTube there are, there are different websites right where you, from where you can learn uh, in fact uh, let's say if the technology is very old normally I don't read old technologies I don't know I have this problem okay I cannot I cannot learn old technologies maybe uh, if there's a technology which everyone knows I don't want to learn those technologies I don't know there's something wrong with me so I always try to learn something new example recently Google made and uh, Kotlin is the official language so I learned Kotlin from where from the documentation because we don't have good books for that so again from where to learn it's all depend upon you right so you can learn from an online online education system uh, from online resources documentations or you can read books uh, whatever whatever publication you prefer uh, if you want to learn new technology maybe like big data Hadoop uh, maybe if you want to learn about data science data uh, deep learning you can buy books and you can learn right so there are different ways of learning uh, so there are some people who also provide one-to-one -one training so if you think that there is someone who knows the technology let's say if you want to learn about big data and there is someone who already know big data it's better to have a one-to-one -one session again that will be costly but then that's fine right if you are learning something new it's worth an investment because say, if to, to be in the IT industry and if you want to get those good ratings you have to learn and you have to do some hard work so make sure that you know how to learn so learn how to learn first right so there are lots of resources online just go and search for how to learn so the fourth one is communication now you have to be good at communication I'm not saying you have to be great at it you have to be good at it but the question arises why you need communication when you are from technical field now you might be thinking we know Java we know big data we know data science we are technical people but the thing is you are not working alone you are working for a company and when you are working in a company there are lots of people around you maybe thousands maybe hundred maybe tens ten people you have to interact with them and the way you will interact is you have to make sure that when you talk to them there should be a connect right and that's how that's where you have to include improve your communication now communication is not bounded to a language okay uh, it doesn't matter in which language you interact it may be English it may be your regional language it may be your native language doesn't that's that's fine you can use any language what matters is the way you talk it's what matters is the way you behave right so you are what you what you say how you listen and what's your body language everything is combined to give that effect right and that's where you have to improve your communication again you can just go to YouTube and search for how to improve your communication there are lots of tutorials available right so implement those things right and it will it will help you to improve your communication now when I say communication is not just about communication we have two more modules here the second one is networking and the third one is public speaking now you might be wondering why networking is important 
Now, see, all the opportunities which comes to your comes in your life will be coming just because of networking. Okay, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent, but then ninety percent opportunities which which you will be getting in future will be based on the networking or the strong network you have. So you have to connect with people. Now, the way you can connect with people is by interacting with them. And there, in fact, there are lots of psychological psychological tricks you can apply to network with people. I remember one example. So I visited one dentist one day, and then. Uh, so I was knowing that person from a long time, not by, uh, but not by talking, but then having that uh, smile thing every day we, when you used to see because our our offices were nearby. So when I visited him, we, we just had a talk for five minutes, and then at the end he asked me, you know, what you do? I said, okay, I'm a corporate trainer. Now he was having some clients. I don't know if he was having the client or not, but then he said he was having some clients. Uh, who are from the corporate industry they provide corporate training so I'm a corporate trainer so there was a there was a so I will I mean those people will be helped to me right so the way he given that example I got connected with, connected with him because I thought this guy is I mean this guy is useful to me right he, he, he can help me in future so the way that's that's that, that's the way I connected with, with connected with him and then after that time, I've given him some more clients, you know, I have, I, have, I have some friends and then I said, okay, that dentist is good, right? So that's how you can, you can connect with the people. You have to improve your networking. Next thing is the public speaking. Now, when you talk about public speaking, it's, all, it's about you have a public in front of you and you have to interact with them. Now, it can be one person, it can be 10 people in the conference room, it can be 100 people or it can be 1000 people right you have to you have to know how to talk in front of them right it's your body language it's about the way you talk it's about how you use your stage and all those things now you might be wondering will will i ever be presenting on stage now see as a corporate winner i get lots of opportunity to to, to present on stage to present in, in, in front of thousand people uh, in fact i'm doing a video now so this is also a public speaking but then i'm facing only a camera here so i can see that lens there i'm talking to the, talking to it but i can imagine you know there are thousands of people sitting inside the lens right so you have to so when you want to present on stage you have to improve that skill so right? there's not a skill set which will come to in one day but again the question is will you present anything on stage in your life everyone gets that opportunity most of them they ignore it but then some people, they, they do grab it. But in the conference room itself, if, if, if let's say your boss says, hey, uh, hey Pradeep or Sandeep, just come on stage and present. Now in this case, if you don't know how to talk in public, you will get nervous. That's your one of the biggest opportunity which you have now. We have to talk in front of delegates, but then you are nervous, right? And you lost your opportunity. See, opportunity will, do will knock your door every time. The only thing is we should be ready to accept it. So improve your public speaking as well. So three things, communication, networking, and public speaking. Now the third skill. It might sound weird, but the third skill is domain knowledge. You should be very good with your domain knowledge. Like example, let's say if you're working for a company which deals with insurance. So you should have insurance knowledge also. Again, I know you are coming from technical background. Maybe you have done your engineering. Maybe you have done your masters. The thing is, if you are working for a company and their main job is to work for the insurance, you have to know everything about insurance. If you are working for banking industry, you should know everything about banks. At least the domain, which uh, the product which you are working on. You should be knowing about travel. So let's say if you are working for a travel agency, you should know how everything works there. Now, you might be thinking, this is obvious, right? Everyone knows about their domain. Uh, that's not the case. Not everyone knows about domain. What they do is, even if you're working for a company, this there are people, they avoid such knowledge. Uh, they, especially geek people. You know, when you, when you talk to some geek people, they are very much, what do you say, uh, binded with the technology. They say, okay, my main job here is to provide security. My main job here is to create the design. I'm not concerned about the domain part. But that's not the case when you're working for a company and when your client is specific to domain, spe specific domain with maybe insurance or oils. So you should know how they work because that's how you will get your promotions because somewhere you have to interact with the client, right? You have to interact with the client. You have to interact with your boss based on the project and you can give your two cents for on the project only when you know what you're building on. Example, let's say if you're working on 
maybe you got a new project in the company and that new project deals with insurance now again uh, insurance understanding insurance domain is damn difficult okay one of my friend is working for insurance domain and then you know when i talk to him he's very good with insurance now because he have done this done the certification uh, he wanted to get the complete gist of it when he was talking to me about insurance i was like okay okay but then the the, the topic changed to technology and then i was like okay so now let's talk so so you have to be very very good with the domain knowledge as well so so we have talked we have talked about the third point which is you should be good with your domain knowledge okay once again not the entire stuff but the basics are important of domain knowledge so the next skill is you guessed it right it is your technical skills so when you talk about the second number this is your technical skills now of course right you might be waiting for this for a long time so we have talked about fifth fourth third and second now in second one we have technical skill that means the one is a bit different right and you might be expecting technical skill would be the most important thing right but then this is second last skill so technical is important of course right so if you are in IT industry and if you are doing some specific targets example if you are a tester you should be you should be knowing how to test an application you should know different frameworks uh, using which you can test application I'm not saying you should know every framework but then the framework which you are working example maybe if you are using selenium you should know selenium from start to end if you are working on maybe some other tool for testing, you should know that tool for, from start to end. If you are working as a programmer and maybe if you are using a Spring framework, so again, uh, it is not compulsory to know everything in Spring, but then you should know enough to build the application. See, normally what happens is most of the time as a programmer, you copy code from internet, okay? That's, that's fine, okay? Uh, you, you search for the modules, let's say if you want to do this, you will go to Google and you will search, okay, how to do this? And maybe if you are going, if you are facing some issues and when you go to Stack Overflow, they will give you a solution. You need to understand that. The problem is it's not just copy pasting it. It's, you have to also understand what you're copying and where you're pasting it. Because the more code you copy from somewhere, the more bugs you're introducing in your software, right? So you, you need to have the good technical skills. So depend upon your domain, if you, I mean, depend upon your work, maybe if you are a tester, you should be good with testing. If you're a programmer, you should be good with programming, whatever technology you're working with. Uh, if you are a hacker, you should be very good hacker, not just a hacker. You have to be a hacker. You should know how to how to use different tools available for hacking, how to how to crack some codes and all those things. Right? So depending upon what you're doing, you should be having good knowledge about that. Now, question arises: which is the best, best technology when it comes to programming, which is the best hacking tool, uh, what, is, what is the path for doing that? This is not the video about that. This is the video what you have to improve, right? So yeah, so when I say technical skills, it, it comes on number two. So depend upon, your, depend upon your work, depend upon your career, you have to change or you have to improve that specific stuff. And you have to make sure that you are being the best in whatever you do. So if you are a tester, you should be the number of one, number one tester in your company. If you are a programmer, you should be the number one programmer in the, in the company. And if you are a, maybe a, a support guy, you should be the top supporter or you should be tech, top tech guy in your company. So always try to be the best. I'm not saying you have to, you know, you have to defame others. It's just that you have to give your hundred percent. Maybe you are not doing, you are not beating people there, but that's fine. You're not here to compete with people. You are here to improve yourself daily. So work on your skills and be your best. So give your hundred percent, and that's how you can improve your technical skills. And anyway, Telescope Learning is there to work more on your technical skills. Now, the most important skill you need in your career. Now, uh, I will not tell you now, but then think about it. When you go for the interview, the first round is the technical round, right? Or the aptitude round. Now, I used to always used to wonder why this company, they go for aptitude round. We are technical people, right? Why they ask you if, they, if you have a train, so train is coming from this end, this station, it goes to the another station. What is the time limit? Or what, how, I mean, at what time this two train will meet? Again, you might, you might have seen that, those questions, right? And I used to always hate those questions, but later I realized those questions are to check your analytical skills, right? So analytical skills is very, very important, right? We can also call them as problem solving skills. So like example, if you give me a problem, what I will do is I will, first of all, I will try to understand the problem and then I should be able to solve it. Not at the same time, but it will take some time, but then ultimately you should be, you should be good at problem solving. I have seen many people, they are damn good coder, 
right? So they can write any software provided they know the they know how to do it. What if you don't know how to break a particular model? Example, uh, when you talk about this, uh, you know, simple course like palindrome, factorial, prime number, those are damn easy to work with. The moment you go for, let's say, student registration form, bank account, everyone knows how bank works, right? Everyone knows how library works. But let's imagine if you are building a complex software, you're working for maybe, again, let me go with the insurance company because I don't know, I have, the, I have that fear of insurance now. So let's say if you're working for an insurance company and you got a problem statement, you should be able to solve that. So let's say if, if your client says, hey, we are going for this new scheme or this new, uh, new, new policy we have, I want you to change your software based on this policy. Now, if you don't know how to convert that problem into a solution, which can be co which can be coded, you're not a good problem solver, right? So to get a good success in your life, you should know how to solve a given problem. So more than your coding knowledge, your problem solving knowledge is more important. So if you want to be a good programmer, if you want to be a good professional, you should be good at problem solving. It, it's not only for programmers, even if you are in any field, it doesn't matter. If you are in tech support, if you are in a database world, if you are in big data world, if you're in data warehouse world, it doesn't matter. What matters is everywhere, your problem solving skills is very important. So if you want to improve your skill, I would recommend you to enhance your problem solving skills. Now let's go for a quick recap. So the first skill, so let's say from today you want to improve your skill. The first skill you should improve is your analytical skills, the problem solving skills. The second one you have to improve is your technical skill, okay, whichever domain you are, I mean whichever technology you are working with. The next thing is you have to improve your domain knowledge. So whatever domain you're working with, maybe uh, again insurance, oil industry, maybe travel industry, you have to improve your knowledge based on that. The fourth one is communication. You have to make sure that you're good with communication. Again, I'm not saying you have to be great at that, but then great greatness will, will a good thing, but then uh, you should be good at communication, at least the basic communication. You should not be like, okay, I don't know how to talk, I don't know how to behave. So that should not be the case, right? It, it doesn't matter how good you are in technical world, how, how good you are with problem solving. If you cannot communicate with people, because you cannot build a project by alone, right? So you have to, you have to take help with, you have to take help from your teammate. You have to communication, communicate with them because there will be one big software which will be built by all these people, right? So you have to make sure that you are also improving your communication. Now the fifth one is how to learn, right? So to do all these things, the important thing is you should know how to learn. So let's say if you get a new technology now, if you are, if you got a new thing, you should be learning that in a week. And to know to do to complete something in a week, you should learn how to learn. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you uh, like this video and do share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.